videos yesterday, so today will be my video day. Alright, um, to do this problem, what we're going to work on is condensing. If you guys can remember, when you're texting on your phone and you type in to condense, the goal of condensing is to bring three logarithms down to one logarithm, right? So what our whole goal and purpose is to get these three logarithms reduced down to one logarithm. So what I want to do is, a couple things we need to remember. Order of operations still carry into pre-calculus. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to get rid of these numbers in front, and I'm going to put them as exponents. So I'm going to rewrite them back as exponents. So um, I don't need to I'll just write log base 10 of x minus log base 10 of y squared plus log base 10 of z to the third power. Because remember the property of whenever you're an exponent, you can bring it in front to multiply it. Well, I'm just going to take those back, so now there's exponents. Then, when you guys are doing PEMDAS, if you guys remember, you know, PEMDAS was always do what's inside the parentheses first, then do your exponents, which we did exponents, right? I just did the exponents. Then it said multiply and divide. And there's a little thing that sometimes we sometimes forget. It's always multiplication, division from left to right. You have to make sure you follow that because there is a big difference on how you divide. 2 divided by 4 is different than 4 divided by 2, right? So you have to make sure you work left to right. So I'm going to go from left to right. Well, I can read, remember, I can rewrite a subtraction problem as a division problem. Since these all have the same bases, we can do this. So since this division, I can rewrite this as log base 10 of x divided by y squared plus log base 10 of z cubed. Now, I can rewrite my addition problem as a multiplication. So this has become log base 10 of x times z cubed over y squared. Right? Good. So just make sure you follow the order of operations.